This thing is crazy. Okay, now I'm gonna need a staple remover. <laughs> Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back to the studio. If you are new here, I'm Irma Hamer, the artist. Okay, okay, I think, I think that's gonna be the intro. How have y'all been? There has been so much going on. The last video that you all saw was footage from September and October. So now this is finally the video where I'm getting all caught up a little bit. This video is gonna be a conglomerate of all the things that's been going on. Um, a little bit of the behind the scenes. Of course, the gram fam sees everything first, so you should definitely follow me over on Instagram. But today I'm covering the behind the scenes of me painting the shoes for Pete Carroll. I'm also showing you how I installed the Bellevue Art Museum uh, show, which is finally up. You all can uh, check that out. You all can. I'm still working on recording some videos, explaining a little bit more of the meaning behind the three paintings that are up at the show. Look, this is gonna be a long one. So you know what you gotta do, honey. Grab you a cup of tea and let's hop into the studio vlog. We back in the studio. If you don't know, Pete Carroll is the head coach for the Seattle Seahawks. And they are doing a campaign called Coach the Vote. So I was one of the artists who was contacted to paint some shoes for him. Beyond Geeked, okay, two of my other artist friends, uh, they painted some shoes for Pete Carroll, uh, it's Ari Glass and Perry Porter. So um, you all should definitely check out their work. I'll put some of their info up here on the screen. And Perry and Ari are actually two of the artists who was a part of Vivid Matter Collective, the group of artists we, who, you know, we all painted the, uh, the Black Lives Matter mural out here in Seattle. And now that I think about it, uh, Ari is gonna be in the show with me, the Yellow Number no. Five exhibition, where these paintings are gonna be, these giant paintings that I've been working on for months. So yeah, definitely a dynamic group of artists and I'm super geeked to be a part of the lineup. So these are gonna be connected to their, to their game that is gonna be in Arizona on November 1st. So you all actually might see these. You all might see this video after it goes live. I'm not sure, but I started some work on them. So the campaign is called Coach the Vote. Uh, it's like really encouraging people to vote during this election, y'all. What I, what I tell you, y'all better vote. Stop playing with me. So it's around Coach the Vote. So I got Coach the Vote up there. We got the Nike swoosh as the V. And then and it's like a whistle for the coach, you know. Then we have the Seattle skyline that's up here at the toe. And then the chains, y'all know my classic chains. So that all wraps around. And then I have a football that's gonna be shooting out that actually breaks those chains. And then I actually continue the design of the Nike swoosh being the V for vote. Then I got hashtag coach the vote up there. So I did start these at home. So that's where I was earlier today. And so I was using some acrylic pens. Um, so that's why I was able to do it at home because the pens keep it super nice and clean. I'm not making a mess with actually having all my acrylic paints out. And the precision of the pens, like the tips of them are so thin that I can really do these nice crispy details for this piece here. So I use the, um, the Mola toe these are the acrylic base pens they're at blick or you can find them online i absolutely love these i actually might be able to link some stuff below okay your girl is trying, trying to set up her affiliate links okay so we can cash out they always use my link yeah so now that i got those set to go um i am gonna be here in the studio bringing out the brushes so that i can really make these colors pop and so i can add the last bit of the details so let's get to it So I could, I could completely finish them. Is it crooked? Can y'all, wait, let me adjust. See, I'm about to break some shit. I'm trying to get my lighting situation together for y'all so that I'll feel more comfortable filming at night. So my, I feel like my studio is perfectly 
lit in the daytime. Like there's three windows in here. There's so much natural light, but there's at night, I have figured out my lighting situation. I did get some LED lights, but anywho, that's besides the point, okay? The point is we made a lot of progress on the shoes. I got them hella popping. I used some of Golden's um, Interference Green Blue. Absolutely love this stuff. So of course the Seahawks colors is green and blue. So it makes sense to use it for this project. What's really cool about the Interference Green and Blue is that at certain angles it's green and then at other angles it's blue. Like this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is when I geek out as an artist nerd. I geek out because I absolutely love this stuff. I think it's super cool. So, but I did save a little bit because Jordan is coming to the studio. He's one of the photographers and videographers um, that the Seahawks team has hired to come to my studio and to uh, interview me and take some more photos. So I was like, let me save a little chunk. I'm gonna save a little chunk so that I can record some of that footage with him. I'm about to wrap up. I know Andy's at home starving himself. <laughs> I'm kidding, baby. <laughs> but really, um, I'm about to wrap up and then I'm gonna head home and I'll see y'all another day. <laughs> Sound check. Guys. Testing, testing. Hey, hey. I'm Erica Tamer, visual artist. Um, what I eat for breakfast? Uh, that's toast, peanut butter, and some chai seeds. <laughs> Some chia, chia seeds. Why do they chai seeds? Okay. Chai seeds. <laughs> Just uh, look at the camera, give it a couple seconds, and I'll give you a solo nod. To, okay. To begin. My name is Erin Tamer, and I'm a visual artist. That, like, I, I thought we were just doing intro. Oh, All right. So just do, do, the, do the whole thing, like where I'm Yeah, saying. I think uh, just, if, if you can, just... Uh, kind of go for it. Go all the way through. This is one of the most important elections of my lifetime, but probably of a lot of our lifetimes. So I think that it's super important that we vote right now because we have no other choice. And my ancestors fought for this right, so I will definitely be exercising it. So thank you all so much for having me. Let's kind of <laughs> go, go, go back and figure, oh, okay. figure something else out. Like literally, I think yeah, all you have to say is like, it's really important that you go about. Yeah, was, and it's like whenever I hear that, I just feel like I wish people said more about it because it's like we almost, it's almost just so generic. We're like, it's like really important to vote, and and then still people are just like, well, I don't give a fuck, you know? Like we, it's like we're all going to hell and hand back anyway. <laughs> it's like, no, we actually really do need to vote, you know? And so, but I guess. It's a minute and 30. <laughs> you know? I'm there with you. Like, the, what do you call it? Every time I, like, gave them something longer, they're just like, can you make it, like... Exactly. I was like... <laughs> can, can you just say, bitch, vote? Like, just, just say, vote. <laughs> gotcha. Bye.
is this my life? Is this is this what we're doing? We have uh, gold paint in our hair, and I guess food in our teeth, and <laughs> ten hour old lipstick on. <laughs> Oh, Lord have mercy. This has been <laughs> the longest day known to mankind, but it was super productive. Uh, Jordan just left. He didn't just leave. He actually left quite a bit ago. It's around eight o'clock. I finished painting the metallic gold on the frames. Will this video be up before the show? I'm not sure. But just know that your girl has hand cut, okay? <laughs> Me and Andy hand cut all these frames, uh, painted them in a metallic gold, built the subframes, did just doing the most, doing the most, okay? I'm super excited. I got a little bit, just a little bit more painting to do. And then Thursday, I'm taking these bad boys up to Bellevue and I am beyond geek. Look. You are you already know you already know I'm gonna take you with me. Okay, we gon we gonna go together. I'm curious about the process, so uh, I bet y'all are curious too. So I think it'd be fun to bring you all along on the journey. So I am gonna see you all in just a little bit. <laughs> My mother is a soldier who veteran. Week after week in the trenches. My dad's a weapon, it's my panic expression. Wonder if I'm liking my question. I cross my conscience pretty often, I'm guessing. Prayer ain't, cause he ate off of my mother's depression. Under our weeks without a second to rest. My life's a blessing that's been given by a hard day's work. Another question, let me ask you what your hard day's worth. A child's smile, the dollar spent on dinner, let the heartaches hurt. So let me ask you what your hard day's worth. Said, let me ask you what your hard day's worth. Is it money? Is it, is it lust, greed, or envy? Is it ever evil under the sun? Is it trending? Would you listen if my mission wasn't drifting up MC? Would you listen? Is it love? Is it hate? A familial embrace? An escape from that pain still state we all create? Is it space? Is it pause? Is the place you can pause? Dress your pause, not off and leave your day. Is it faith? Is it God? Be it Jesus or Allah? Is it worth your stress and hard work throughout the day? These are questions that I got. Just another product of the age of hip hop Where the money don't come And the drugs don't stop And the fathers don't talk And the mothers all box And the world keeps spinning And we pray don't stop And I'm screaming up to God for a little bit of love Least to break from my mom's and escape from the rush But the hundred hour weeks make her feet go numb And the world keeps spinning And the sleep don't come And my peeps go dumb With a perk, with an ex With an insecure girl we can hurt with a we with a rush and a escape from the numb that we all keep feeling when the day's all done when the rays of the sun don't shine on our skin where we can hide in our lies take a dive in our sun i say i'm fine with a grin while i'm thinking about my pops how we died at 13 while my mom and i watched watched the clock on the wall sister noted that the time was 9 21 no one noted i was crying give it time went to school told my homies i was fine but my insides burned no one noticed i was dying and so my peeps went dumb with a perk with an ex with an insecure girl we can hurt it's with a we with a rush and a escape from the numb that we all keep feeling when the day's all done when the rays of the sun don't shine on our skin 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 where we can hide in our lives take a dive in our sin 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 Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's your first day in here. Oh, usually it's neater, but. <laughs> wow. I've been painting her for like over five months, and the last thing I want to do is put a crease down her face. So. Wow. We're just kind 
to gently bring her out. I tried to roll her, like how I usually do for all of my pieces. I rolled them all. Yeah. But she is very large. <laughs> so I will lead us down the stairs. Do you want me to stretch back or do you think it's fine? Oh, stretch back maybe a little bit. Okay. I never carry canvas. Oh, <laughs> so, that's okay. And let, let's try to hold it here okay. so that it doesn't uh, pinch. Yeah. Yeah, and create a seam. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Woo! Your girl is so wet. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh wow, it's it's loud and echo in here, y'all. That literally <laughs> took like 10 years off my life. Every time I have to move my work out of the studio, it is deathly terrifying. Like I'm always just afraid of damaging the pieces or afraid of like tearing the canvas. Just I'm just nervous and, and like it, it doesn't matter how big or small the pieces are it doesn't matter what type of show they're going to I feel the same no matter what but there was a lot of extra pressure just this time like it's Bellevue Art Museum I've been working on specifically chocolate milk for like over five months um yeah, like I just I just didn't want to damage any of the pieces. They're safely in the car. Shout out to my studio neighbor for coming through and helping me out. You saw that like the other two, Sugar Pill and Starburst, like they were fairly small. So I can kind of just roll those up. Like I'm used to rolling those pieces up. But Chocolate Milk, she is literally, she's a little under 10 feet by 10 feet. So she's actually about like nine and a half. Um, so she is by far the largest um, stretch canvas piece that I painted. Well, actually, actually not not true. There's another piece that I did back in the day, like, but it was a um, it was a backdrop. It was like a photo backdrop for a sparkling ice for this um, soft drink company that's out here in the state of Washington. Uh, that was terrifying <laughs> to move that too. But uh, yeah, pretty much chocolate milk is like the biggest piece that's gonna be stretched, that's gonna be in a museum, that's like a piece of this scale. So the last thing I wanted to do was damage anything. And so she helped me bring her out. She was just too big and she could not be rolled. Like, it, like just these um, wrinkles kept forming. So I was like, instead of trying to roll her up in a tube the way that I'm used to, um, let's just do a loose soft fold on her. We're not gonna like pinch the creases so that she doesn't have any lines in her face or any lines going down the landscape portrait of it. But yeah, we did it, we did it, we did it. Um, that's phase one, <laughs> okay, phase one. The other phase, so I'm officially, officially en route to Bellevue Art Museum right now. I just called the team, let them know that your girl is running a little bit behind. They're all cool, it's all good. So they know, they know, yeah. And then, oh my God, let me tell y'all about the damn um, you all people. So this van is actually perfect because if I would have got a truck, it, it, it just would have been too big and I really didn't need a truck. Like, so I'm in a, I'm in a U-Haul van. It does not have the U-Haul logo on it. It's literally like a creeper kidnapper, all white van, like this sketchy white van. And he walks me up to the to the van, the U-Haul rep. And I say, it doesn't have the U-Haul logo on it. Like, what is this? <laughs> you know, he was like, oh, well, actually, um, this van was stolen two months ago. So we had to do, oh, so he said it was stolen two months ago and like they stripped the logo off and everything. And so they finally got it back and has been refurbishing it and cleaning it and getting it all together. So yeah, sorry. He's like, do you, do you want me to switch it out? I was like, at this point I'm already late. Okay. So I was just like, no, it's all good. But I'm just like, <laughs> why do I have to have the kidnapper van, the creeper van? Like I'm out here about to take somebody's children. <laughs> I promise I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna drive y'all and I'm gonna see you all at Bellevue. <laughs> Thank you.
Excuse me. Um, Did you see her? I know, we all have blue hair. We all have blue hair. Okay. Yes. Yes. And look, and here, this is Sugar Kill. That's Starburst. Yeah, I love Friday. Can I get the Starburst? Yeah, I love Friday. Can I get the Starburst? Yeah, I love Friday. Can I get the Starburst? Yeah, I love Friday. Can I get the Starburst? Yeah, I love Friday. Can I get the Starburst? Yeah, I love Friday. Can I get the Starburst? Yeah, I love Friday. Can I get the Starburst? Yeah, I love Friday. Can I get the Starburst? Yeah, I love Friday. Can I get the Starburst? Yeah, I love Friday. Can I get the Starburst? Yeah, I love Friday. Can I get the Starburst? Yeah, I love Friday. Can I get the Starburst? Yeah, I love Friday. Can I This thing is crazy. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna need a staple remover. <laughs> Museum getting it done, okay. It's finally happening. Andy's here, Justin's in, Justin's in the house, Megan is here. We're all getting um, the pieces stretched. They are 
they are safely where they need to be. That is, that's what's important, okay? Um, so now we are working on putting this, building the subframe so that the gold metallic mainframe can be attached to that and then the piece will all be ready to go to hang. So let's get to it. was not recording, but okay, here it is. Here it is. Okay, let's do it. So, time for the mainframe. Tink, how are you? <laughs> Why do I be saying good morning knowing that it's like one in the afternoon? Anywho, y'all, yesterday, ah, oh, you know like when you've been working on something for months and months and months and it finally comes together. Oh my, I literally could not sleep last night. I was just, I was buzzing. I was just buzzing. I was buzzing from the energetic feel, one of that full moon, okay, which was absolutely epic but two just from like the excitement the the relief the gratitude just everything i am just so happy that the pieces are up they are at bellevue art museum um there's still a little bit more to go i'm going to be adding some 3d sculptural pieces so now it is time to move on to the next thing okay you can see right like i'm i'm waiting now like i feel like i have to feel my space because it looks so white in here like all the pieces are completely gone so stay tuned for some more paintings because you know your girl stay creative now <laughs> I gotta get y'all pins out. I know, look, look, sis, bruh. I've been trying to do the most out here in these streets, so I have been desperately behind on getting these pins out, but they are here. They are officially here, okay? They're all here. And the thing that I was waiting on was the back cards. So those finally arrived. Shout out to Moo.com. They look absolutely amazing. So y'all know usually I use Vistaprint and Vistaprint is cool, but for these pins, I wanted to upscale it a bit. You know, I wanted these to be like a limited edition collector's item. So I decided to uh, work with Moo.com and get some gold foil ones, which turned out absolutely amazing. I feel like the logo looks a little, eh, it looks good, y'all. I think, you know, just, you know, as an artist, you be OCD and about stuff. It looks good, it's great. I'm I'm happy with how they turned out. Um, so now I just need to put the pins 
on the back cards, put them in the clear bags and get them shipped out to you all. Thank you so much for the love and support. If you got your pen, thank you, boo. Um, there are still more available. So if you wanna get some, make sure you click the link down below. If that changes by the time this video uploads, I'll definitely let you all know right here. And um, yeah, so right now what we about to do is get these pins packed. <laughs> We did it. We did all the things. It was um, quite the journey. Obviously, I am beyond frustrated just with everything that's going on, like that people can actually see the exhibition or go to the museum. Like we put all this work into it, but I've just learned to be patient with the process. All is well, it's okay. It will be open at some point. Actually, the museum will reopen in April and they actually might extend the show because we had like a month of it being closed. So I will, of course, keep you all updated on my Instagram here on YouTube. And you all can also um, subscribe to my newsletter because I make sure I give them updates as well. Right now, I am just finishing up um, taking photos for the online shop. So if y'all have not shopped my store, I'm letting folks know out here that we got multiple sizes going on. We got tons of options. Everything has been restocked and it is ready to go. So make sure you all head over there and I'll drop all those links in my description. But thank you all so, so much for watching this super duper, duper duper long video. Let me know in the comments if you all like long format content or short format content. Personally, I'm a long format kind of person. I just want to have a video going for a good 30 minutes. And of course, remember, if you liked it, like it. And I'll see you all next time. Maybe that next time will be now.